Hello and welcome to my Sunday at home and the sun is actually out today would you believe? I had a very cosy day yesterday, I didn't film anything but I had friends over so they were sitting one end each of the sofa, you know, socially distant-ish, it's, it's a big sofa. I was sitting over here on the futon single chair thingy, this actually turns into bed and I used to sleep on this for a long time when it was in my parents house when Izzy was little and I used to do gigs and they'd have Izzy in the evening and then I'd go home to them at their house where Izzy was sleeping so I could be there to do night feeds and get up in the morning with her and uh, yeah so I used to sleep on this in the front room. Anyway we sat and we drank coffee. I splashed out because they were expensive well can't remember how much they were actually it might have been six pound or eight pound I actually don't remember oh sorry didn't get that in shot but this is what I bought myself decaffeinated beans for grinding so I can have freshly ground decaf now which is probably better for me <laughs> there's not much of this left to show you now but we were chowing down on these puff pastry mince pies from the Asda bakery and they were good so we were feeling nice and cozy and kind of semi Christmassy and the girls were all upstairs in Izzy's bedroom sitting cross-legged on the floor in a circle chatting and laughing their heads off and shrieking with hysterical laughter from time to time which we all did find rather amusing. In the morning my boyfriend was still here from the night before so we cosied up on the sofa, this is becoming a bit of a morning thing if he's here at the weekend, we cosy up on the sofa, drink real coffee that he's got into the habit of brewing now because normally that's what I do every day but no he's got into the ritual of it now and I bought these ready to bake croissant things but they came in like a whole roll just with perforated triangles so you actually had to roll your own croissant so that was interesting because when we got it out and put it on the baking tray we just had this complete blank of how on earth you should roll a croissant I think my version was the best but Ivy poo-pooed it and he said no it's not like that and then well his looked like sausages in blankets and I think mine looked verging in the right direction of looking like a croissant but anyway they were very nice and it was a very nice pleasant way to start the day true to my normal form as a nearly daily vlogger because I'm trying to have one day off a week to uh, get a bit of a rest <laughs> so true to my normal form I have been editing all day and for most of last night and a bit of the night before so I've done six hours on that Cardiff vlog now and it's exporting and I have to go up and do a thumbnail because I've got some still images to make a composite image of and put that on YouTube. So that's my next job. Another thing I did with my boyfriend yesterday was go to Asda in the car and stocked up on water and pop and all things heavy. Caffeine free pop, squash, soya milks of all sorts. All the heavy things that are a bit of a pain to carry back from the shops when you don't drive. IB has been playing with the fridge magnets again. This is what he's come up with this time. He likes to limit himself to a like a certain handful of them so he can't actually just do anything he has to work with what letters he has yes he caused much hilarity in my vlog before last something slightly racy on it uh, I did a whole spiel in front of it chatting away oblivious to what was behind me but anyway seems to be all right this week Izzy's been working at a Christmas card design because she wants to design her own for her friends and family this year I think it looks absolutely beautiful I think she's supposed to be doing a snow angel she quite often sketches it roughly with paper and pencil first and then does it on her iPad in a digital format and shades it in like that. Anyway, speaking of digital art, I'm going to go and do that thumbnail and I will speak to you when I'm finished. Hello, it is now about 20 past two and I've just finished all that stuff that I need to finish. Also, put on a wash load, mostly bedding. My daughter's in the bath currently. I've asked her what time she would like to eat lunch and she says 4pm. I think it's because she got up very late and had breakfast quite a long while after she got up so that's why but anyway that's fine suits me I'm gonna eat a banana now I'm gonna eat a banana now though because I need to just tide myself over until then also boiling the kettle for a cup of tea which I will take sips of while I'm playing well not actually while I'm playing in between blasts of the flute you know what I mean hey look at Christmas corner do you spot an extra item from the last time you saw this in a vlog? <laughs> I do, came from Asda's. During this coming week, I have planned a rehearsal with one band and a gig with a different band. So I'm quite excited to just brush my technique up again on my flute so that I'm ready for action. I'm gonna go and probably do, oh, I'll probably do 35 minutes and then start getting the dinner on, but hopefully I'll do some more later this evening. I'll do it in installments today just because of when Izzy wants her dinner. What else? Oh, I've got, a day of office work lined up one day this week as well. But I'm going to take this down with me now and let's see what happens. Might film it, might not. Uh, if I'm just really concentrating, I might not. Ooh, I have to be careful filming down here because I'm starting to accumulate Christmas presents for my family. 
Might need to get some wrapping on. I pay Izzy 20p per item to wrap my gifts that are not for her usually because it gives her some Christmas spending money and she enjoys doing it as well. I don't think she's gonna get time today though. I've given her another job, a sorting stuff out in her room job and I hope she does it this weekend. Otherwise I'm literally gonna go in there with a bulldozer. <laughs> Frying fish, it's a bit later. It stopped doing it now I got the camera out, it was just spitting everywhere. So I thought I would take the opportunity to say that a few people have been asking me about setting up a Christmas wish list. Well, I had one set up, there just wasn't anything in it apart from gold tape. Um, anyway, I have added things to it on request from the, uh, the requesting subscribers, which is very kind of you to request that, so thank you very much. But one of the things in it is like a, a spit guard for the frying pan. <laughs> Kettle's on again, I'm gonna boil some broccoli. And over in the active fry, we have real cubed potatoes just slowly frying in the oil. Here are our dinners served up, or lunch, whatever you wanna call it. While that was cooking, I was potching and pottering about washing a few dishes, unloading the dishwasher, folding some dry laundry up, ready to go upstairs. Oh, I've got a spot. <laughs> oh, the joys of looking into a monitor. Um, it's about 25 to 7 now. I um, watched an episode of Voyager with Isabel while we were eating our dinner. She enjoyed the dinner, which is good. Um, I had a walk in the dark, but in the streets, so I couldn't really film it. So I just need to get out, get a bit of fresh air and exercise. And I've done some editing, everything I've filmed so far today, which isn't actually very much, because it's been a quiet day, but I'm going to go down into float cave now and do the rest of my practice because I only did a little bit earlier and then uh, emerge and decide what to do next <laughs> Practicing away down here dutifully and every so often my eyes keep moving over to that table over there which has edible Christmas presents on it. Oh they look so tasty and tempting but I must resist. I've just been recording a little video clip on my phone to send to my boyfriend with a proposed change from one tune to another that I've just kind of invented. Only very, very simple thing, but that's the kind of thing I'm doing. Well, I did my half an hour practice and a bit more, and um, then I was looking for this particular version of a tune I want the band to learn, and it's quite tricky on the end part. It's like a bit unusual, and I hunted high and low on YouTube and I eventually found it, and it wasn't called it, its name, it was just called Jigs and the band name, so I'm pretty impressed that I managed to find that one, it was buried. Um, so yeah, I've been emailing that to the band, and I'm gonna head upstairs now. I've emerged, now this is the tune I wanna do, Troy's Wedding by Nomos. I'm gonna go and write it out now in music notation software so my boyfriend can learn it from that. Looks like I'm better at spelling music than English. It's supposed to be Troy's wedding. There we go. Sorry, Troy. Troy. That's better. That was the quirky, awkward bit I was mentioning. Right. I'm going to send it off. I'm sending it to them in three formats now by email. I'm going to send it as sheet music to look at, but doesn't do anything. A music score file that they can play like that and see the thingy moving along, you know. And also an audio file as well, which is just the audio, so they could just listen to it instead. So they can choose how they want to learn it. Good, that's done. I'm mooching downstairs now. Izzy did indeed begin her sorting out job that I gave her to do. She wasn't that keen on the idea, I must admit, but she did make a start. And I'm getting hungry for my dindins. And this is what I'm having. And this is actually leftover from yesterday. I plated it up and I got it out ready to microwave. It's using the Richmond Meat Free Mince, which is actually vegan. And I think it tastes a bit like beef burgers from what I remember beef burgers tasting like. Although I haven't eaten a beef burger since I was 14 years old. So maybe my memory is a bit off, but that's what it reminded me of.
I'm gonna spend the rest of this evening eating, editing and chilling out. But thank you very much for watching this daily vlog. Do feel free to give it a thumbs up if you want to help this little channel to grow. Comment down any thoughts below. And if you're new here and would like to follow more of my story, do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it. And I'll see you next one. Bye.